Did I see a Mike Myers thigh pad on you? Yeah. Why? I don't know. I just always like Mike, Michael Myers, like ever since I was growing up. Like out of all the, the scary people, I guess. Out of all the scary people, he's yeah, your yeah. guy. Yeah. Have you seen all the Mike Myers movies? I've seen all of them except for the last one. I ain't seen them yet. Gosh, I feel like it's like hit or miss on those yeah. movies. For me. <laughs> okay, let's get right into this, Javante. Everyone from the Sean Payton, the staff, fans, media, like everyone has just been ranting and raving about how impressed they are by your return. So so quick. Are you surprised by how quick you got back here? Um, just reading, just reading stuff on the internet and seeing how long these injuries usually take. I'm kind of surprised, but I mean, the way that I've been working and the things that I had to like sacrifice, I mean, it's a blessing to be here first off. But um, I'm not really too surprised. Okay, nickname wise, the DNVR fans they've come up with quite a few nicknames for you: the Miracle, mm -hmm. um, Alien, because apparently like they think that you're not real <laughs> because of how fast you came back, Superman. Mm -hmm. Is there a nickname in particular that stands out? You think we can mix in with Pookie? Wonder Boy. Wonder Boy. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, Wonder Boy. That's it. That's um, it. And you know, initially <laughs> coming off such a big injury, it's getting in pads. That's the biggest hurdle. You've jumped over that hurdle. Now it's game action. Are you playing on Friday? Can we expect to see you out there? Um, I hope I am. They ain't told me yet. Right, they ain't Good. told me yet. Um, <laughs> let me know if you need something. I that got you. Uh, <laughs> you uh, but now. Nah, um, they ain't told me yet. Uh, I think they're gonna tell. Um, we're gonna sit down and talk about it Thursday. Like if I do play, how many snaps I would get, yeah. or something like that. But um, I know I'm definitely playing the second game. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just how badly do you want to play this preseason? I'm just ready to get back out there. I got to, cause I don't want the first time that I play to be against the Raiders. That's the first time I'm getting tackled, cause I feel like I'm gonna still be kind of timid yeah. without being tackled in what over a year. Yeah. So um, yeah, getting back out there in the preseason would be huge just for my for my mental. Yeah. Specifically, how important will it be to see a goal line situation or two prior to week one? Yeah, that's that's really important. I feel like that and probably special teams is probably like the most dangerous parts of football. So just getting back down there, getting my pads low, getting hit and running through somebody, I feel like I need that. Okay, well the <coughs> offense has seemed to be on a roll the past few days. What's been the difference? Um, I don't know. I think just the communication um, aspect. Because uh, the first day that we installed two minute. Um, it was the first day that I think the media seen it, and it was like kind of bad. We kept jumping our sides, things like that. But just having a couple days um, with it in our back pocket, learning the plays, learning rough signals, and how you communicate during two minutes, I feel like that's the reason that we we starting to click. Yeah, you know, tempo has been a huge buzzword since Sean Payton arrived here. How have you seen tempo improve as of late? Um, the tempo has been good. Just like I said, everybody communicating. I feel like that's the biggest thing with tempo. Yeah. Everybody got to be on the same page with the cadences, the, the code words, the hand signals, everything. I feel like we're just getting more comfortable with it. Okay, you are a violent runner, but when you have a guy like Michael Burton out there, how does that change things for you? Mike, just like another coach. I mean, because he's been in Sean Payton offense before, so when it's, when it's things that I, don't, I forgot, like a route or something, I could just ask him. And um, I know he's always going to be in the right spot, so just my reruns and things like that, when he in the game, just follow him. Yeah, okay. As you know, haters are going to hate Russell Wilson this year. He seems different from my perspective, but what have you noticed most about Russell Wilson in terms of what's different in comparison to last year for him? Yeah, I feel like he's just more open. Okay. Um, I feel like last year he was, I don't know if he was like nervous or shocked because he was in a new city or something, but I feel like he's just more open. He's talking more, he's in the locker room and things more, and it's, and it's really starting to show on the field. Yeah, you know, the running backs room has changed a lot over the last year as mm -hmm. well. Tell us a little about some of the fresh faces that are in that room, and what do you think of the guys? Anybody that you're gelling with? Um, I'm gelling with everybody. i say P. Ryan, he's probably the, the quietest one in the room. Tyler Beatty, he's probably the loudest, the uh, funny. Jalil. Just, just a hard worker. Yeah. He, don't, he don't say too much either. He just want to work hard. And Tony Jones, he just like a like an old veteran. I mean, he seemed like he been in the league for about 15 years. <laughs> Do you think that you can help Jaleel kind of, you know, as somebody who's in year two, kind of get out of his shell a little bit? Um, people say I'm still in my shell, so he might have to help me a little bit. <laughs> I don't think you're in a shell at all. Yeah. Um, nah, I'm going to help him out, though. I feel like it's just... I feel like everybody in college got to go through that. Just getting used to the NFL. Yeah. I mean, you dream, to, you dream of being here your whole life. So, I mean, you're supposed to be nervous a little bit, but once you start playing, get in the game, make a few mistakes, he'll be all right. Okay, as someone who's in the backfield, picking up pass protections, just how good is this Broncos pass rush this year? Oh my gosh. They be in the backfield every, every play. If it ain't them, it's the linebackers. Alex and Josie, I feel like they play well together. And you got um, Randy and Frank. Still got Nick and Coop, um, AP coming back. Baron, he'll be back soon. So, I mean, it's real deep in that room, and 
hopefully we get a lot of shots this year. Is there a single guy that's impressed you most within the Broncos pass rush? Mm, I'd say Frank Clark. Okay. Just because like when you look at him, he look like real skinny, but every time you look up here in the backfield, I think it's just the way his body, like how he can bend and move his body, but um, just seeing him with the Chiefs, this is what he was doing with the Chiefs too, but just the way he built, just the way he built, um, you wouldn't expect him to be that dominant, but I mean, he in the backfield every play. Okay, so I was asking the guys the other day, I'm like, is Frank Clark small or is Randy Gregory just ginormous? So you're gonna say Frank Clark's kind of on the smaller side? Um, like skinny, they both they both big in their own way though, because once you get up on him, you're like, oh dang, you're kind of bigger than I thought. Same with Randy, like he real tall, but he's strong at the same time in the weight room. So I mean, they just kind of sneaky athletic. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. let's talk about the running back conversation around the league right now. The landscape within your position is changing a ton. What, you, what are your current thoughts on, on what's going on with the running back position around the league? Yeah, um, I feel like it's just going to take its time. I feel like it'll change once they uh, once uh, they realize how valuable the running backs are. And um, I really think they're just trying to trying to say that running backs can only do one thing, but the more that we show them, I feel like sooner or later they're going to have to start paying us. What do you want to show them? That I can do everything on the field. <laughs> everything. That's I it. love it. Who was your favorite running back growing up? AJ Peterson. Okay. I was hoping you were going to say Terrell Davis because I think he was out here the other day. Oh, yeah. He's too I young. seen him. No, I remember him, <laughs> but um, yeah, I seen him a couple of times. He was at one of the training camp practices. But I think it's AP just because my dad was a big Vikings fan growing up. Okay. That's all it. we watched. I'm assuming that you didn't get a chance to talk to TD while he was out here then because you saw him. You did? Uh huh. Because you're out here feeling like, oh, yeah, I saw him. It seems like you just saw him from a distance. Nah, but you saw him up close. You guys yeah. had a chat? Uh, he was just telling me like? be smart. Like with my injury, he was like, um, don't let nobody try to rush me back or anything like that. Just be smart with it. Just my body. Um, I got to last for the long run, not just for right now. Just, just words of wisdom. Nice. Yeah. Very nice. Well, thank you for your time. We hope to see you out there on Friday. Yes, ma'am. Fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> a couple times, right? Right. Hopefully. See you, Javante.